storied teams with glorious pasts are popular candidates on the BCS ballot. Running on their records with a campaign stop in a battleground state. For the Sooners, there is no margin of error. Another loss in the primaries, and their run is done. And the unbeaten Irish must keep winning to stay near the top of the polls. The computer does the counting when all the results are in, but the only numbers that count tonight are on the scoreboard. It's Notre Dame and Oklahoma on Saturday Night Football. Welcome to Saturday Night Football, presented by Windows 8. You are looking live at Oklahoma Memorial Stadium in Norman, Oklahoma. Notre Dame, Oklahoma, one of the more anticipated games of this season. The Irish storm in undefeated with the number one defense in the land. The Sooners determined to end that streak before a sellout crowd that is bursting with energy. Good evening, everybody, and welcome. I'm Brent Musburger, along with Kirk Herbstreit. What a night we've got here for you. And already, fireworks, the number two team in the nation. Florida's lost, and here are the Irish, poised at number five. They're coming into this, this game at 7-0. and Their fan base, I don't think they've been this excited in over a decade. And they knew coming in that this was an important game. But I'll tell you what, not just with Florida losing, but with USC losing and the way they looked, I think the stakes have gone up that much higher for Notre Dame and what's at stake for them in this game. And all of a sudden, even for Oklahoma sitting there with one, lost they have a chance to work themselves back in it as well Kirby let's talk about the Notre Dame quarterback Everett Golson he has been cleared to play coming off that concussion he missed last week's game yeah it's important that Everett Golson's back in the lineup and, and I know he's a redshirt freshman let's face it they've had eight turnovers on the year he's been responsible for seven of them but his athletic ability is crucial tonight I think it's gonna be hard for Notre Dame to line up at their own 20 and drive 80 yards and 12 plays Ever Golson's big playability, his ability to go away from trouble, buy time, find receivers downfield, will have to be on display for Notre Dame to be able to put points up on the board. And, of course, it seems to you and me like Landry Jones has been the quarterback at Oklahoma for a half dozen years, but he's got great experience and a lot of weapons here tonight. And I think for Oklahoma, they feel that they're really starting to peak at the right time. The last three weeks, I think they've found the groove. The offensive line's playing better up front. The receivers around him are doing a much better job. I think it's allowed him to be able to just settle down and do what he needs to do, provide the leadership and make big plays. I'll tell you, the matchup is going to be Notre Dame's front seven. We've been bragging about them all year, about how great they are. They've got to get pressure on Landry Jones and try to create some turnovers to give uh, the ball back to Everett Golson with a short field. So many things have happened today. Kansas State may be jumping to number two tomorrow. We'll wait and see. We'll have all those stories in an interview with Brian Kelly as we continue from Norman.